On April Fool's Day, the Labour government started a compulsory superannuation scheme and called it a bold piece of social legislation. It wasn't even a very funny joke. What they didn't tell you was that nobody would get its full benefit until the year 2028. If you're one of New Zealand's half million housewives, you don't get anything, ever. The same goes for the 500,000 people over 55 and the 400,000 on Social Security. But the superannuation scheme isn't just one of Labour's bad ideas. It's also a dangerous one. Shortly, Labour will be taking millions out of our pay packets each week and spending it. In just seven years, they'll have enough money to buy every share in every public company in New Zealand. Soon, they could buy all the farms. Indeed, one day, the government could wind up owning literally everything. And you know what that's called, don't you? And they say they've only just begun. That's a very good example of Labour's so-called new society at work. Well, what are we going to do about it? On becoming the government, National will immediately abolish the Labour superannuation scheme. We'll give back to you the money that both you and your employer have paid in, and we'll introduce a new scheme to be known as National Superannuation. National Superannuation will deliberately move a slice of the national cake into the hands of the older people in the community. It will also avoid the pitfalls of Labour's scheme. It will not put any capital in the hands of the government. It will not discriminate against women or non-workers. And it will pay out its full benefit by 1978. Some people will ask, can we afford it? In fact, National's cost is comparable with Labour's. This is because the money's paid out as it comes in and thus cannot be eroded by inflation. Here's what National superannuation will mean to you. If you're a housewife, you'll receive as much as, say, a working man receives. If you're a superannuitant, you'll receive national superannuation in addition to your current superannuation without a means test. If you're an aged pensioner, you'll in effect receive around a 30% increase in your pension without a means test. Every independent expert who studies this scheme has judged it better than Labour's. Indeed, Labour themselves are now madly trying to patch theirs up, but it still won't work. If you want to see everyone in New Zealand get a fair deal in retirement, Vote national. New Zealand, the way you want it.